This is progress. New means of serving people better at lower cost per ton mile. Since World War II, the railroads have spent an average of a billion dollars a year, every year, on modernization. Railroads mean many things. And to thousands of our people today, they mean jobs. Just to keep this one freight yard going gives work to 125 men. And that's just a drop in the bucket. The jobs of a good many railroaders are well known because these are the men you see when you ride a train. But for every trainman, there are four or five men and women working behind the scenes. Doing what? Almost everything. There are welders and radar technicians, pastry chefs and punch card operators, machinists and research chemists, drivers and accountants, lawyers, linemen, sweepers, and elevator operators. You name the job, and it's on the railroad's payroll a payroll that amounts to $575 million a year right here in, in the state alone. The railroads employ more than 110,000 people, more than in any other state in the Union. And that's just direct employment. Did you know that the Union Station in Chicago, just one of that city's six major rail terminals, has an annual tax bill of $913,000. A much smaller railroad station pays about $4,000 in taxes, while the municipal airport in a similar size city pays no taxes at all. In fact, it's actually a tax burden because it takes property off the tax rolls. But that's another story. In this town, for example, the railroad pays nearly $10,000 in taxes to help support the local government and provide municipal services. And in the same town, the railroad contributes $7,000 in taxes to help educate the children. In many school districts, the railroads pay more than 50% of the total school budget. The lesson of World War II is clear. By 1941, some people were inclined to think of railroads as old-fashioned, outmoded. Public fancy had been caught up by newer modes of transportation. The war, some thought, would be fought and won in the air. Yet, during World War II, the railroads transported more than 90% of all military freight traffic and 97% of all organized military passenger movements. As for the place of railroads in the future, in an age of rockets and missiles, that place has been defined by General James A. Van Fleet, who commanded our 8th Army in Korea.